Hello, my name is Dr. Bill Burkett, and I wanted to give you some insight into how the grading is determined on your assignments in FlexPath. We use a grading rubric, and you'll see the grading rubric in each of your units. So let's take a grading rubric and see how that helps you set your assignment up for a higher grade, which I know that's what you really want in the long run. So here we go. This is a grading rubric from one of the FlexPath courses. Uh, the criteria says describe the background and leadership style of the organization. Non-performance says do not describe the background. In other words, you didn't do anything. You did not cover any part of this criteria. The basic, which would be a C in most uh, instances if we were translating, we don't translate it that well, but that's a way to think of it, is describe the background of the organization, but the description is not explicit or lacks substance. In other words, it was probably one sentence very lightly described the background and leadership style of the organization. To be proficient at the next level, this is the next level, and, and you can kind of think of this as a B, maybe. It isn't, but that, that's the way to think about it. It says, describe the background and leadership style of the organization. So we do exactly what the criteria says. If you do exactly that, and that would depend. That might be a paragraph. It might be two paragraphs to get to that point. But you have described the background and leadership style of organization. If you want to go to the distinguished, and in my old thinking, that is an A, but we don't really think of that. That means you have really covered this criteria, this competency. Provide an in-depth and highly distinct description of the background and leadership style of organization. So we've taken this one, two, three steps up to the maximum, and we have described the background and gone beyond. That's what it means by using the grading rubric. Now, this is what I use. When I look at your paper, I'm going to look at to see if the basic is there first. If the basic's there, I'll just look further and see if there is a proficient level of that particular criteria. If there is a proficient, I'll look next to see, did you happen to cover, or did you cover the distinguished level? Did you go to that extra mile? Did you walk that extra block to bring this up to a distinguished level? That's what I'm looking for when I'm grading. Now, let me take this one more step. When you're writing your paper, remember, this first criteria is describe the background and leadership style of the organization. When you write your paper, we, and we use an APA writing format, and I'll give you that URL in just a second. I'll expect a title page. I'll expect an introduction, and that can be a paragraph. Uh, five or six sentences is usually enough to really cover your introduction or abstract. And then in the body of the paper, I'm looking for headings, and they should be in the same order that were in the uh, grading rubric. They should not be mixed up or back and forth. I should see the exact same headings that are in the criteria in the grading rubric. I should see those headings in your assignment. So whereas we looked at that first one and it talked about the background and leadership style, this would be an, a great heading for that section. Background and leadership style. I see that. Okay, I'm going to see, do you have the basic level? If you got the basic, do you have the proficient? If you got the proficient, did you go all the way for the distinguished? So I'm looking at these different levels in there, and I'm looking under this heading. So if this heading's there, you're going to help me. After I get done with that particular grading rubric, I'm going to look for the next one, organizational, organization leadership style. Again, that's kind of a uh, cut down from what the criteria says, but it lets me know this is where that particular material is. I'm going to look for the three different sections in there and so on and so forth. At the end, I'm going to look for a reference page that is APA style. I expect you to cite between 15 and 18 percent. When you use your turn it in, and I expect to turn it in, come along with your papers, uh, I should see a 15 to 18 percent. No more. You get above 15, 18 percent. I'm going to start thinking, okay, did you not give credit to someone that you cited? Or did you not cite correctly? I'm going to start really looking heavy. 15 to 18 percent, I expect that. So make sure you have a reference page and that is APA style. Look in Capella website for that. Now, here is the URL for the APA style website. And this is this is in your, your unit. This is in your unit. It's in the syllabus for your, your uh, course you're taking in FlexPath. 
So look for the Capella APA Style Writing Guide. And there's the URL. Look for the Scoring Guide, how we use the Scoring Guide to guide your writing. You've got questions, you've got uh, things to read, uh, there's uh, internet access uh, sites they want you to go to. But in the end, I'm going to look at the scoring guide. That's what you're going to be based on. Your, your grade is going to come from the scoring guide. The questions help you think uh, along the subject line, as do the readings and the internet uh, pages and things. Those help you. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, I'm looking at the scoring guide. Do you have the scoring guide in the order it's supposed to be? And do you have the headings there for me to go through this paper? If you don't, you're not going to get the grade you, you probably should get. So make sure you help me by doing that and help yourself because it's in a logical order in the scoring guide. We have it that way for a reason. Also, if you're not sure about using Turnitin, there is a tutorial for Turnitin as there is for PowerPoint and other things. So if you need any help, look in your resources section of your syllabus. Again, my name is Dr. Bill Burkett. I'm a faculty chair for the undergrad and grad project management IT department. If I can be of any help, please feel free to email me at any time. Have a fantastic day and thank you for joining us.